everyone, it's me, Day the Fae, and this is a video about how to cast your circle. So one of the most important pieces of symbology that witches bring to their everyday life and every piece of magic that they do is a circle. So that circle symbolizes not only the wheel of the year, the wheel of life, um, the cycles of your life and how they come back to each other, but it also symbolizes your circle of safety and your circle of protection and your very core. The core of your energy is a circle. So when you're doing spell work, the first step to doing that spell is casting a circle, which is your circle of safe energy, your safe space, and it locks all the other energies outside. Um, you can cast a circle in several different ways with several different objects depending on what you have available to you and you know the level of protection you want. Um, you can combine all the ways to cast your circle into an ultra strong powerful protection or if you're just doing a basic spell and you don't have that much worry or that much bad energy affecting the situation you can just do a basic simple single cast. So. The way that I use most is an incense circle. Um, so what I do is I use a purifying herb or incense that's going to help me to cleanse the space and cast a circle. So I either use sage leaves, which I hand collect and dry myself. And so I'll burn a leaf and I'll just go around me or whoever else I'm doing the spell with. I'll burn a leaf and then I'll just spin in a circle. And that purifies my space. Um, if I'm doing a spell that's more um, about wealth or prosperity or needing good luck, I use uh, Palo Santo, which is really common. Something that you need to be aware of about Palo Santo is just don't go overboard with buying it all the time because Palo Santo is a sacred tree, hence the name Palo Santo means tree of saints or holy tree and it's been completely decimated by how trendy it is right now to buy it so um, buy a palo santo tree and grow your own palo santo and you can burn the leaves um but i have a bunch that i use in literally hundreds of spells i just burn it for a little bit and then i do the, the circle cast and then I let it go out. And so I don't just burn it, burn it, burn it. I let it be used for multiple spells. Another way that you can cast a circle is with salt. Um, so my favorite way to use salt is by actually using ocean water. And I usually keep a bucket or a bottle or several bottles of ocean water in my house ready to use for spells. And so, and I keep them in like recycled water bottles. So what I do with the ocean water is I just sprinkle it around me in a circle and that works to purify my space or I use regular salt and I'll just grab a pinch and go around myself in a circle in salt and that casts your circle of protection, safety, it casts the energy that you're bringing into the spell inside that circle and it lets it be you know, potently focused into the spell. So that's step two on spell work, is casting your circle, and then you are ready for step three, which is kind of optional. Um, but if you're ready to see step three, then stick around for the next video and click on the next video.